So the State Partnership Program was developed in 1993. It was a response to the Cold War. Uh, when USSR fell, they were worried about all the Baltic states around the USSR, and they wanted to develop some type of mechanism to keep relations and to also move forward with security cooperation. North Dakota, we became partners with Ghana in 2004. So this is our 20th anniversary. We do suffer from some of the same types of disasters. There's a historic flooding that happens in Ghana, and we also have flooding that happens in the state. So disaster preparedness is probably one of our most significant portfolios that we do manage within the state partnership program. We were very lucky to get Ghana. What this partnership gives soldiers and airmen is it gives them experience to work with different cultures and using some of their knowledge they've gained through the North Dakota National Guard and share that with our partners in Ghana. Very smart Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Grinsteiner once said, teaching is twice learning. When you have to teach something, you really need to understand what you're teaching. I'd say some of the greatest accomplishments we've had with SPP is helping our partners through some difficult situations, namely, when the president said, we want you to do an earthquake exercise and also work on a plan that's focused on earthquakes. The first earthquake exercise we did was 2018. And in between the 2018 and the 2022 exercise, the Republic of Ghana helped build a country specific plan on earthquakes. I would like to think that through our efforts working with NADMO and our first responders, we helped contribute to the building of that document. And in 2022, our partners again were able to demonstrate to their citizens how good they are at responding to emergencies. And I think that's what it's all about. Working together with our partners to put them out front and helping them along with some of the processes. One of the second accomplishment that we're very proud of is our non-commissioned officer engagements. We've had uh, very good success working with their forces sergeant majors throughout the years about empowerment and about sending over our North Dakota National Guard NCOs to conduct engagements. That's uh, it's on purpose. It's showing how much responsibility we give to our NCOs and what we expect of them, and it's very powerful. And it's non-pressure. We're not here to make them into the United States. We're just showing them different examples of leadership, and I think that's very important. And all of our engagements are actually paid for by the combatant command. This is just a wonderful opportunity to be able to use some of our knowledge and to understand new cultures and new processes and procedures. I have not once had a North Dakota National Guardsmen come back and say that engagement wasn't worth my time going over. You know, when we go over someplace, uh, this means something when they see this, but also it means a lot when they see this too, the North Dakota National Guard patch. Uh, we've been stopped many times and, they, and they, say, they see that patch and they go North Dakota. So that's one of the things I'm most proud of.